are you? Who am I speaking with today? We are the Octurians. We are your council. Very good. We greet you in the love and light. This is not a formal meeting. Speak freely, my friends. There are quite a few here. We want to welcome everyone here with us today and greet you all. We're in a very special time right now here on Earth. Indeed. What can you tell us about what's going on on Earth right now from your perspective? <sighs> the universe is ever expanding. We are moving through a band field, a field, a cosmic rays affecting our solar system as well as yours. The Earth is a main hub. For many races, it's a place of learning. The earth Oh, you to a kataha and I and the cotose and the kataki and look o it. Say, I oh, yet I. It's shifted into another dimension, a higher density, density, density. It has already happened. We are in the. We are experiencing the changes. This is, this is, this has happened many times and it didn't end well. So they have to come and help. They're here to help. There's, I see, I see so many ships surrounding the earth. We can't see the, some of them because they're, uh, they're cloaked. They're cloaked. <sighs> There's so many. There's from so many systems 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 there's many galaxies in this universe there's so many it's not that's this the stargate we saw was so okay it's for this this solar system and there's other stargates and other solar system where there's life So we can go to other planets through these portals, through these, these are, this is technology. These are not natural portals, but it's ancient technology because there's other portals that the higher Arcturians, the higher ninth dimensional Arcturians, they brought this technology in. Ah, oh. This energy is so high. <gasps> <gasps> <sighs> Did 
Just relax, take a deep breath. <sighs> oh, this technology, they, they were helping when they brought it into this dimension to help with the portals, the portal opening the technology. They, they can just open up the layers with the technology. They brought it into this, it's like a gift. The six dimensional Octurians use this on their ships because the ninth dimensionals, they don't need ships, they're light beings. So this technology was channeled into the six dimensional Octurians which created it through the use of crystals, crystal technology. They had to come up with a way to help the earth because it's really hard to comprehend it because they're showing me multiple dim, dim, like timelines, timelines. It's quantum, it's quantum. Many possibilities, different decisions that people on the earth made that destroyed it, destroyed it, destroyed it, destroyed it. Start on it all over again. Have to start all over again. Not this time. That's why. Oh, so heavy. Not heavy. It's so the energy. I've never felt this energy before. Mm. Is that the energy we're moving through the planet, the solar system? Mm. No, it's it's this energy that's it's a pillar that's coming into me. Mm. Oh, it's a channel through my chakra, my crown. It's like a beam of white light that's shooting it's like very wide this wide and it's just streaming in this information so much it's... can they push away any blockages or resistance and allow it to just flow freely it's my body mm -hmm. it's my body um they said that the advice that I, they i've been given i, I wasn't heeding it because I went back to coffee and I I still eat chicken they don't want me to eat meat anymore and I've been resisting that because I like meat I like bacon and they told me to take this seriously in a loving way in a very kind and loving way If I choose to take this path, because I feel it in my heart right here. That this is my calling. Yeah. It's just so far out there shit, man. Yeah. It's so unbelievable. And that's where we're moving into. So even as <laughs> unbelievable as it sounds to people, just hearing it. Plant that seed of the possibility. And that's See, what's so it's, important right now. They're showing me different layers, very thin layers, like rice paper yeah. between each dimension within the, the the density that we're in right now. We just moved into this new density this past six weeks. It was a shift that happened that we the earth not just the earth but Everything that's expanding, they're showing me an expansion and we're moving, we're constantly moving through the universe. The galaxies are moving, they're expanding and they're showing these bands of light that that are just floating in, in the void. We're passing through it now. So we've never passed through this band before, they're saying. This... This is, we've expanded so much through the millennia, millennia, millions, millions, billions of years. We've reached these bands of light. This is not the space-time continuum. That, that is, an, that's just a, another word for the Akashic records or the conscious, the collective consciousness of this Universe, the universe, just this one universe itself, because there's 
Oh my god, there's many universes. This is too much for me. Too much! Fuck. Oh, they all work. They have different laws. Laws, but we're in this one. Mm -hmm. So I don't need to see those right now. It's too much. I have to concentrate on this one. What we're in right now. Yeah, it's an adventure. At, yeah. It's an adventure for all of us. It's a source is having fun here. We're having fun here. This is fun. <sighs> Shoot. The whole gal the all the all the different galaxies that we're connected to, all the beings that are here. Mm -hmm. they're, they're so excited. We're like the center. There's so much diversity on this planet right now than any other planet in the universe. This is the apple of God's eye. That's what the angels are singing right now. They're singing not the apple of God's eye. It's more beautiful than that. That's just my language. We're being watched. This is like the Truman Show, man. Our higher selves are watching. They're cheering us on because they already crossed. They already made the finish line. We already made. We've done this already. But we're experiencing this right now. Why are we focused? So we already did this. We already passed. How? I don't know. So hard to comprehend this. It's quantum. Quantum. We're getting a view of it from outside of time and space. Right. Everything's geometry. I'm seeing these bubbles of time, space. Little bubbles of choices that we made. And then I see, like, the timelines merging from the past. Mm -hmm. It's hard to explain because there's no past, present, future, but... It's like we're closing up something. Like we're finishing up in this density, mm -hmm. this octave. It's a we're going up another octave, and and they're talking about they're showing me the constellations now, because we're not in. Is it Pisces? I see fish, and then I saw I see the bull Taurus. I'm Taurus. I see Pisces. They're saying you're a Pisces and I'm a Taurus. What does that happen? It's something to do with we're now into, we're in an Aquarius now. Aquarius is a different octave. Taurus is an octave. Pisces is an octave. And now Aquarius is an a higher octave. But it's Pisces all playing the, the, same, the same time? Harmonizing? It's like we're starting over but on a different octave now we're back at now there how we're going to do the 12 constellations again but this time in a higher octave uh -huh. and each constellation is um 2000 years so we get to play in a, this this is the information you and this is so you this i keep saying year it's not a year it's a millennia it's a mm -mm. it's a time period mm -hmm. time doesn't exist though it's out of the way it's an era of new technology we're gonna it's like star trek status they're showing me they're showing me a future future like they're saying oh we're thinking oh 400 years in the future nah -uh. nope it's gonna be faster faster because we're thinking in terms of the octave that we just came out of because everything had a, a, a the spatialness of time yeah but a lot of the technology already exists in that timeline but it was held back from us there it's now now that now that we're shedding the illusion away mm -hmm. Now we can see the technology that they've been hiding from us because we they we we even have technology that could like make food like like what do you call that 
it's energy. Mm-hmm. We're not going to need to eat anymore like we did. It's like if you feel like having, it's like, you know how, oh my God, this is so hard to explain. <sighs> Getting so many metaphors. Okay, you know how people are getting off of meat? A lot of people have been called to get off of meat. And they're going to, toward a mock vegetarian hamburgers because they still want to have that taste of a hamburger. Mm-hmm. Or or the mock bacon. It's not made of an animal, but it tastes good. You know, for some people, you can just change your, change your tongue like the mm-hmm. mm, taste taste mm-hmm. it, it, it will change and then pretty soon you won't even need to pretend it's meat then you just want fruit and vegetables and seeds nuts lighter mm-hmm. there's no need for that oh man so many people are going to start getting off of fast food shit everybody's everybody real is going to start understanding and realizing how sick our bodies have gotten it's gonna it's going to be a movement toward healthier eating nourishment because a lot of us are traumatized and we eat to make ourselves feel better but there's stuff in the food that makes us want it more and more like they put stuff in the food to make us crave it to keep our energies down now we're pushing out of that Mm, what else are they saying Okay, so they they were using it as a metaphor for a reason about fake food. I mean, not fake food, fake meat, and then graduating into higher b- vibrational foods. Because where we're headed, we're we're, we're not going to want to eat that. And then the technology that they've been hiding from us is going to come in to the forefront, which is I can't think of the name. It's like you ask the computer. Like computer. A or... Yes. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> Cause these ships are these ships have them yeah. already. We have it, but they they gave us the technology to help us, but we weren't ready for it. Or they wouldn't let us have it. A lot of stuff. I mean, if there's free energy. Oh my god. There's free energy. It's we already have the technology. They just won't let us use it. But coming out of that, that's the thing. This new octave that we've come into, this new Aquarian age, is the age where all this is gonna become available to Isn't us. Isn't it already there though? I mean we just have to tap into it. We don't realize, but you yes, think but about anything and you can tap into what yes. it, whether it's free energy device, it's in the field now, right? Yes, it's already in the field. Yes, all of it. That's why I'm seeing it, because mm. it's already there. All the information's there, yes. and and they've been giving. Well, these inventions have been channeled through people already, but yeah. then they've been hushed, 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 because they're fighting it. They they don't want. They don't want us to know. They don't. They want to hold on to this game. This. They don't want. They just don't want us to expand. They want to keep us here because they were using us. They were using us for their benefit. But they're, they're out of here. We just, we just seen it though. We're seeing the fight, the, the shake up, the shaking, the chaos the, the hate the, oh god right but you can you you might be able to scrub something from the internet but you can't scrub it from the field and everything's no. in the field all everything's, the secrets everything are, are all, all out there to to tap nothing, into there's not you can't hide it hide anymore from it. everything's going to be revealed and we're all going to start realizing it on our own right uh, us sharing yeah it's like planting seeds and others, you know, resonate with it mm-hmm. um, because they see it too. Mm-hmm. And, uh, it's 
like it's like we're coming together and validating each other because so unbelievable it's like we're oh it's all the programming we have to go through tons yeah. of it so we need to reassure each other that you can actually sit just like you might sit on the computer all day you can actually sit in meditation and tap into all this information now and and that has been my personal experience anything i feel triggered about i can just go and sit with it and i get get this higher perspective of what's really going on with it and uh, inventors can do that. So I encourage any of you that feel like you're an inventor or you can do something, go tap into this free energy information. It is there. It will come to you like mm -hmm. an idea and just manifest just like that. I noticed what I was doing when I was tr really trying to draw what I see, teaching myself how to use a digital, and I couldn't draw something. I'm like, I can't draw this. I, so I would go outside and look up at the stars and ask for schematics mm -hmm. or download of uh, the information I need to draw it. Then I would ask for an artist that could draw ships mm -hmm. because I can't, I, I can't do that. So I, I then and I would come back in and just, and, and I would listen to music with my headphones on and I would draw and I drew it. I would I drew some ships. They're not that great, but th there's no way I drew them. So it's like you tap into that information and it flows through you mm -hmm. through the tools that you're using, mm -hmm. which is it could be guitar, mm -hmm. keyboard. It can get voice. better over time too. Yes. Um. Now I got this information right now. Okay. Okay. I don't know anything about. I mean, I know a little bit about what you guys do, BQH and QHHT, because they keep saying Dolores Cannon, Dolores Cannon. It's another example of, of expansion, like how Dolores was the pioneer of this technology that they used to get the information out. Mm -hmm. It's like the beginning stages of it. And then they showed me the lady with the glasses. She the, she does, she has a canary, the not canary, she has a red cardinal. A red cardinal. Mm -hmm. She has a BQH card. Yes. Yeah, yeah. <sighs> Sorry. It's beautiful. It's okay. <sighs> oh, Dolores Cannon. <laughs> She's showing me her connection with her. She's been teaching her, like fighting her. Mm -hmm. Because she expanded on this technology and taught it to more people. And now the ones that are have this technology, it's it's like it's being upgraded, the word. Because look what we're doing. It's different now. And then oh, more practitioners are going to realize that their uh, clients are not needing so much, like lying down and really getting. It's just like a. It's like when you. Or energies are vibrating together, when you connect, it creates this uh, two order field of. of, of, of it's, it's like a. It's a pyramid. But it's not a, it's like all this geometry. I've seen a lot of geometry right now. It's like we're in it. Isn't it what Jesus was talking about? Two or more are gathered. Yes. And then we create this the synergy. Feel the synergy. Yes, yes. And then we can help each other mm -hmm. bring the information in. Like like how we were just talking earlier and, and, and I was starting to understand more about myself and my role here as a galactic. Uh, and I'm not just a galactic. I'm other stuff too. All of us are. I'm, all of us are. I'm just an example. I'm an example of the new human that is coming into place, coming into existence now. We're 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 coming into who, like we used to be light as we used to be light, and now we're light again, or we're going to coming light again, like a higher light, like like we. We're remembering more. 
because we've been in this era before, yeah. but it was in, but it was in a lower octave. That's what I was trying to say. Like we've done this many, many times over. Then we were, it's like we're coming. We came out of it. And now it's a another cycle. Mm-hmm. So we're starting over, but at a higher octave. Like so a upward. new playground. Yes, a new playground. And then it's, and we're bringing all the other systems with us. This universe. Wait a minute. I pulled cards the other day that had to do with that BQH that we had then the other day. Mm-hmm. And I put them aside because there's messages in it. Um, share your song, frequency of sound, d- diving deep. That's what we did. Mm-hmm. The courageous peony was the multifaceted, unique nature. Let yourself be seen. That's a message for me. Um, let it let go of boundaries. I mean, boundaries let it go. And it's not yours to carry the weight of the world. The card's called the weight of the world. And didn't that song come on? He ain't heavy. He's right. my brother. Oh my God! And then the it's other like card came out. It's like a shift in perspective, out. isn't it? Because you have yes. a vision at that time that you didn't talk about Um, but you saw this smaller guy lifting up this guy that should have been super heavy for him but he was picking him up effortless effortless yes and then this one you're not alone isolation physical connection community so it's like connecting to and Eileen's and the other been a big was, part about that you know energetically connecting with all of us i you know, feel her work. here she hasn't really mm-hmm. she pops in once in a while i feel her giddiness um yeah. the other one is with the seven star the seven star sisters yeah card. that's amazing Remember and that you had the seven stars on the logo the seven yeah, sisters and then Pleiadian. yeah it's Pleiadian. and then this one is i'm sorry card it's the defenselessness then it says writing past wrongs of rudy and it's it's it looks like like humanity in despair or something like we're praying and like we're uprooting from the system like we're pulling away from our sorrows and i don't know it's backwards but no it actually, i don't know it's, it's not for me it's showing up it wasn't oh. um it is uh ho'oponopono <laughs> i just eileen would always do that thank I, you i love you please forgive me oh uh, yeah what is it? Thank you. I'm sorry. I love you. Please forgive me. Yes, okay. I. I'm not sure of the yes, order. So. Something like that. Yeah. Yes, 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 yes. But yes, she would yes. always, uh, and and then we even embedded that within our book, you know. So that's really neat. Yeah. Um. That and and the fact that in your BQH session, they were able to help you release. You know all of your the walls that you put up with the walls of fear to even come on here. And I, it would take, it took me back to a comment you made where you were admiring someone else for having the bravery to come on and do a session on there and look how far you've come. Now you're actually that person inspiring others, you know, Yo, to just follow your heart. So, think of, I'm think so much of in that. gratitude that right now. That was a couple of just... years ago, I think, but still, you know, it just goes to show how far you've come. You know what I mean? And I, and I believe me, I'm just so humbled by this. I'm just so I'm blown away by it, just as much as everybody else. Yeah. Because they're saying, this is, this is what we all are going to be able to start being. It's mm-hmm. like we're coming to this. Humanity is coming into this. Yeah. Ability. And the fact that, that I had that connection with Candace Carl Goldman, which you just saw, how Dolores is helping her, and I've seen that before. That's come through with sessions. Oh my whatever. gosh! And and think of like everyone on this channel that's taken the set the the class online too, and now they're giving sessions. And think of how it's spreading. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And uh, so that, that's yes, really amazing. Helping people connect within too, which is super important yes. right now with all of the disinformation out there. You have to go within and, and see what resonates, what's really true, because almost everything out there is an illusion. Like it came in your session, right? It's mm-hmm. illusion, it's a lie. An illusion mm-hmm. is a lie, right? So, yeah, and yeah. The lie is and, hiding and the beauty. The reason, I mean, yes, yes, because because the song was the song is beautiful. It wasn't the song I was crying about. It was like we thought that this we just we believed something that. 
wasn't true, but in our hearts, we knew, we know something, but, but we held, it's really hard to explain, but the thing is, there, there was, like our country, it's like a hub of the darkness. It's like we're playing a big part, but it, it's a big part to wake, it's, it's meant to happen because the big eagle represented the United States. I understood that. Mm -hmm. And it was big. And it went over the throne room. I saw, it was like, first it was a few, like three, then it was some, then it just expanded to thousands and then millions. Like, I don't know what that represents. Were they but empty? Like we, they were all empty. Wow. But like no one realized but, their divinity. Nobody. Nobody their realized. Rightful we, seat. And, we, you know. Yes. Like, like we're, we're, we got off our throne so we could come down here. Like, wow. Right. It's a All right. Of the game. Okay. The the first card we got two cards. This is for the the collective Earth. Learning how to be human in the world, but not of it. Mm. And the next card is lifting the veil, questioning everything. Anything unaligned must go. How perfect is that? And it's look at this is the the veil being open. Look at the curtain in the rainbow color lights. Yeah. I saw. These are new cards too. I have I haven't come across these. Right. And the the earth one. Look at and we're in our own little field because mm -hmm. it's like we're at it by ourselves, but but we're not. You it's know like what I mean? Christ just, self, you know, it's like yes. Jesus said, you know, be in the world but not of it, <laughs> right? All right. And, you know, that can mean so many different things to different people. So. Mm -hmm. so they're saying that they want me to just put out more of that, do like carpools for the collective, they're saying, to help uplift us, encourage us, strengthen us. They keep showing the codes. We got codes. It emanates from us. It's like they're showing a ship, um, a ocean ship. And I don't know what kind of ship it is, but I see people in rough ocean water, like trying like their ships have been destroyed and they're in the water and they're struggling, they're drowning. And this other ship, it's a, okay, it's a military ship. It's a, like a Navy ship. I don't know, that's a ship. It means something, military ship. And the people on this ship, it's like us, the star seeds. This is, the ship represents starship, but it's on the earth as on the ocean. And we are throwing life lifesavers out and we're pulling people into the ship to get them out of the water so they don't drown because the seas are going to get really really rough <sighs> whatever that means so we're like like providing like, a safe Shh. haven right? yeah, yeah, for yeah, star yeah. seeds yes Yes, yes, yes. Yes, because the the ship that they were on was the illusion, and 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 they're realizing what's going on, and then we're we're giving them a place to like regroup, like, mm -hmm. all right, and then so that they could tap into who they truly are. It's the great remembrance. Twenty three. There's going to be more people remembering who they are. <sighs> this is the beginning. They, they keep showing me BQH practitioners is so important. Not necessarily that title. It, it, it could be any modality that, that, that draws. I mean, there's a lot of healing going on. Mm -hmm. and, and people are, are they're going through this healing of, of releasing. Mm -hmm. But at the same time. 
understanding who they are. And more of these stories are going to be coming out. Um, the practitioners are going to be led to put them on their YouTube channels or whatever channels they have, uh, media, media, to spread it, spread the information that's, that many of us are going to start telling mm -hmm. or expressing or something like that. So let's think about mm, the energies that we just went through. Mm -hmm. uh, let's flip the switch mm -hmm. for channels to align the ones that are already uh, I just needed that one shake up with you and that was it just because we they said the synergy the synergy mm -hmm. helped me feel safe mm -hmm. to explore without being inhibited of expressing what I was seeing because it just mm -hmm. felt too out there but it's but because of what I'm doing, I'm just an example because I'm I'm one of many right now that are are jump, taking that risk, finally finding that becoming, bravery, that valor, within. yes, that courage, yeah. the, yes, the courageousness of within us. And I was connecting with the Lyran, Lyran. I like to call them Lyrans. Mm -hmm. uh, um, she's a golden colored, uh, feminine energy. She brought in the uh, feminine energy. I think it was last year, a couple of years ago. I didn't understand it then, but now I understand it. It's this new energy that's coming in to balance out the masculine because we're balancing. That's, that's what they meant about balancing. Uh, there was showing the opposite dark light mm -hmm. and but that we've mastered it now because we've dwelt in it. Now we can bring it all together and find balance and harmony mm -hmm. uh, with all the different frequencies. Mm -hmm. And um, what else? What else? That's good because I think Jean was intuitive, intuitively feeling that the eighty-eight was about balance. Bringing that yeah. So balance means that when we look around and we see all this incredible chaos going on in the world and it looks like things are getting really bad, there's a flip side to that. The whole yes, side yes. that's not being reported on, <laughs> yes. right? That's where we come in. Mm -hmm. That light that's is where, coming in really light, big and, and strong. When, yeah. when we pray for the world, when we pray, because that's the terminology that I understand. It's like a setting intentions. Mm-hmm holding it in your heart what you want this world to be each one of us have our own perspective but at the same time our own unique mm -hmm. want this this energy this frequency we desire this love that we're we're drawn to we're, we're looking for it we're headed toward it we are it mm -hmm. we're tapping into it more it's like tap into that within yourself and build build this world that we're pulling out of the, the, the go again splitting that's the great split they were talking about Ugh. but it's still expansion like you were saying it's isn't expansion it? because yeah, it's, like it's like a like cell a, dividing because it's a new cell it's a new octave it's so hard to explain it they said there's a lot of star seeds that i have awakened already that are teaching quantum Quantum field geometry. Stuff about math and music. Codes are numbers. But numbers are frequencies. Music. Octaves. I don't know music, but then, then they're talking about all the in-betweens and the they're showing like music sheets, the different tones. Ah, I know it's so it's a lot of information, but I can't put it together. Message received. Colors. Their frequencies. They're talking about artists now. Artists. Don't be afraid to use crazy colors. 
mix the colors to create the colors that are closest to what you, you it's like a frequency coming out of your hands this is very important it's like we're channeling through our hands when we use the tools right card readers too like we're all connected to the same frequencies when we do this kind of work, this woo-woo stuff. Mm -hmm. Not just, I'm not talking about musicians now. Mm -hmm. I was for a minute an artist, and now I'm talking about people who are psychic and have these abilities that were turned on. A lot of, okay, like me, I was born with it. But then it got really switched on when I was eight. Let's see, there's the eight again. And um, when... The ET started coming to me through my wall. And I saw, I used to see the portal open up in the wall, and these entities would come stand around my bed and whisper in a weird language that I didn't understand, but I was paralyzed. I couldn't move. And it happened for a summer that year when I turned eight. And after that, that's when I was able to see more like spirits in the house. Mm -hmm. I was crying, freaking out all the time. So that was my whole life. Uh, trying to understand it or try to hide it or stuff it away because of my religious upbringing. So until I woke up in 2017 when the veil dropped for me. And I think, oh, the, they told me they uh, they orchestrated it. Mm. It was the Octurians that orchestrated it for me to wake up at that particular time for this moment mm -hmm. to bring in the messages that the earth needs now. Does that include um, creating Mandela effects for you to notice? Mm, yes. Oh, uh, no. That's that's an anomaly. It's mm -hmm. a it's a shifting of frequencies. There's like they're showing timelines, parallel timelines that shift with with the frequency of the collective. Mm, depending on our frequencies, something like that. Uh, we're doing it, but we're not doing it on purpose. It's just a. It's what happens. <laughs> That's why they're taking it's like a byproduct. A pipe. Yes, I love talking to you <laughs> because you can pull. <sighs> thank you, thank you, thank you. I struggle. But I'm, I, I don't like to say that I'm str I struggle. No, 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 no. I'm learning. Mm -hmm. That's why we need to help each other. That's why we need to work as a team. We're saying we help each other. Don't go away out alone. Go. Mm. You're not alone in this, and it, it, and it benefits us to connect with others who are also experiencing these. Uh, this growth, it's like a growth spurt. It's like a quick growth spurt that we're going through right now. That's why there's been a lot of shakeups with relationships. They're seeing something about relationship shakeups because the, they need we need to separate from the densities that uh, others are still kind of slow in raising their frequencies because they're still very much programmed. But those of us who have, uh, they're showing me the movie Matrix when we got popped out of our pots, popped out in our, all our, they're showing the plug, unplugged, we're being unplugged from the Matrix. Those of us have been unplugged from the Matrix. Mm -hmm. um, okay, okay, wait. We need, we need space to, Oh, now they're showing me a chrysalis or something like a butterfly coming out of it. And we're still, our wings are still wet. We need space mm. to grow. Yeah, we're still so wet we behind start, the ears. <laughs> yeah, so we need to, we need to start learning how to fly. Mm -hmm. Now they're showing multitudes of butterflies, multitudes of butterflies, all kinds of butterflies. That's us. Mm -hmm. Bringing in the spring, like the new spring, it's a new so many analogies. Um, what are some other so, ways, other tools that we can use, uh, like BQH, to, to help connect us better? 
get a better connection is there they're talking about that's where they they brought me back to psychics the mediums mm -hmm. they're being upgraded the mediums <sighs> okay the, the reason why okay there's there is a type of segregation in a way for even in the those realms because there's hierarchies because i can because i see like the galactics they have different ranks mm -hmm. and we report right okay and then there's here and the roles that we're playing here in this matrix we all have different specialties we come with special gifts mm -hmm. specialties they're like we're like because see, we all have these abilities. Specialized that we've we brought. specialize because we went. It's like we went to school in the other. It's like we've developed it through the many lifetimes. Mm -hmm. Like we have, we're acquiring it too from our other aspects. Mm -hmm. That's where we're connecting with our other past lives. Absolutely, yeah. We're connecting it because we're tapping into those, just like the artist side or the musician side or the. Like when I ask for information, because I'm tapping into that. There's a space time continuum. Right. All the information's there. Like all the information's there, and we all have specialties. So there are mediums that are here that can easily tap into this information. What's the difference between a medium and a psychic? It's very psychics can read just your energy and the information your akashics your blueprint they can tap into that mediums can tap into many aspects of you the new medium the because in the beginning like mediumships in the 20s and stuff they really tapped into the fourth the fourth dimension the it's like at the astral, there's a layer where these beings, uh, the spirits that were here, the past loved ones, they tap into past loved ones. But now it's shifting higher to guides and the different layers of information. The mediums are being upgraded. The psychics are being upgraded. So there's many of us doing this woo-woo work. It's going to so expand. And the ones that help others heal through hypnosis. Mm. Then there's many expressions. They're showing me cooks now. Cooks. People who... That's their art. Mm -hmm. Culinary arts. Culinary yeah. arts, beautiful food that's going to be introduced. More variety of food. That's a lie about. It's, it's a lie. It's a lie. It's like there's bounty. They're showing bounty of food. We're so diverse. I think like, we're trying. There's going to be so much cooks coming out of the woodworks, coming out with these beautiful dishes nutritious food non-gmo pure organic organic no meat it's just no animal products it's beautiful 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 so they're they're channeling too i don't know they're just showing me cooks and scientists playing their role medicine <laughs> so much it man shame the art comes into so much of it doesn't it like even gardening and yeah or in yes. science they're maybe brainstorming or mm -hmm. you know, daydreaming about how something works and all of a sudden the answer comes to them it's like so there's yeah so there's going to be an explosion of new things new we're going to be sharing things that we've never seen before like like even entertainers entertainers are important the ones that Mm -hmm. They just show art through their entertaining dancers, um, acrobat acrobats. They're showing just 
they're, sh they're showing um, singers with mm -hmm. new new music, new music coming in, new new music. Even rappers. Kendrick Lamar yes, has just, clips of Eckhart Tolle in his <laughs> music. I couldn't believe it when my son showed. The me. music's changing Can't because stop we're it. because it, it's it's flowing. It's just through. bursting we're, forth through everything, isn't it? It's like yes, how much and, we allow it through. Yes, and um, we're going to be feeling more free to express ourselves. There's going to be it's a shift, a shift that's happened. Mm -hmm. Like what happened to me, I feel like I feel an acceptance now. Mm -hmm. And um, it, it's like, I just want to see what happens next. It's, to me, it's all magical. And I'm like, let's just do this together. It's, I feel I feel more connected with with uh, our tribe yeah. through you. And it's it's a beautiful thing. I see the tree again with the fruit. Um, this is going to benefit many people. And I'm not saying it in a, Believe me, I didn't want to do this for the longest time. This is, oh, I just trust see me, it I now. <laughs> I watched yeah. you struggle with it. <laughs> yeah. Okay. That's why I, that's why I pointed it out earlier because I think it's so beautiful. And it's such a testimony to me, like, you know, how much everyone around me is even changing and growing so much, you know, and I see it with so many people. I see it in my family too. But they struggled with it because the one thing about me is that I could never shut up about it. I didn't keep it to myself. I'll be like, I just saw a ghost or, or I just read your mind or I knew that was going to happen. And There's orbs in my room floating around and I saw an angel. Um, I just kept sharing it with my husband and my kids. And they were like, all right. They just, just they put up with it for a while, but then they started seeing things, yeah. <laughs> feeling things, and then they started coming to me. Oh, I heard a voice, or I heard music coming out of the fan, or and I'm like, oh, your clear audience is being turned on. What? They're like, uh, uh. But now they're all into it. Yeah. They're really coming into the ears to hear and the eyes to see, yes. right? Like Jesus talked mm -hmm. about. <laughs> it's it's they're expanding. My family's expanding, and it's unbelievable. It's expanding too to. My siblings, well, at least a couple of them, <laughs> yeah. starting to, yeah, it's spreading in my family because it started with the one light that started to shine bright and affect the other ones. It, it was shown in a small scale, the family first, mm -hmm. then the friends. Some No, a lot of us would lose some family and friends too, believe me. Mm -hmm. And then some of them will come back because they'll be like, oh, that's what, that's what she's been saying all along. And then they'll come back, you know, but, and then, you know, we'll just be, we'll just be in, no, you know, we wouldn't say, told you so. No. It's like, thank you. Oh, welcome. Welcome to my world, basically. Welcome. Yeah. <laughs> That's a big. <sighs> Even our loved ones that pass over, my brother, um, my sister got slain in church, knocked out in the spirit. And, he came to her while she was on the floor at the, at the pulpit of the church and said, um, Shane was right about what he was telling you, right? So, wow. so it was so funny that, um, you know, it's a lot of our loved ones that passed over are helping from the other side. Yes, my brother helped, mother, helped yeah. me too. Sorry. Yes, my brother helped me too because when I woke up in 2017 and I was still freaking out over it in, I think, July, August, September. July, August, September. He came to me in September, two months after I woke up. And he came to me in a dream and he passed away in 2015. So he came to me in 2017. And in my dream, I, I, I was at a family function and all my siblings were there and my mother was there. And when I opened the door, cause he knocked on the door, I opened the door and I go, oh, look who's here. It's Michael, my brother, Michael. And he, I turned around and then he stepped right inside of me. And he turned around and started talk, talking to each individual person in my dream. And then when I woke up, it was so strongly embedded in my head. I called my mother up because it was at 444 in the morning when I woke up. Wow. And 
I tried to fall back to sleep, but he wouldn't let me. I could feel my brother. So I remember I tried to fall back to sleep and then I couldn't. So I called my mother and it was five, five, five in the morning when I <laughs> called her. I woke her up and I told her, I just had a dream and it's about so real. And, and, and Michael had a message and he spoke through me. And then I gave her the message and she cried because it was meant for her to hear it. And then she told me, write it all down. And when you come, because we were having a fa family gathering that day. So I brought my notes with me and each family member got a message from my brother. Hmm. And I didn't realize it till now, because you said they're helping us on the other side, but he showed me that that's one of the gifts I came in with, that I could channel spirits or that, oh my God, it's crazy. And then it started happening when I started practicing mediumship and I finally opened myself up to be brave enough to do readings on people. And then the spirits, you know, they started pushing me out of my body and speaking directly to them. That's crazy. And I'm like, no, that scared me. And so I resisted, resisted that. And then I noticed that I would also channel collectives. And there's a collective called the collective, you know, they call themselves something of the highest decrees and they're a, a collect a consciousness they're a consciousness and they come in and and speak through me mm -hmm. with an english accent most of the time which i can't do and they like to touch stuff and smell the air and experience being in the body mm -hmm. they use my body to touch stuff and, is a sixth density do you know or oh they they said the highest decrees, and I don't remember. They did tell me. I just don't remember right now. Yeah. But I have a connection with, I don't know who they are, but I don't know if they're going to be coming in another time. But right now, they're just training me. Mm -hmm. I'm being trained as a channel, a mass messenger of not just galactics, but the angelics, because I I channel the angelics. I do my I do a lot of healing work with angelic energy. Mm -hmm. Usually it's the person's angels that come in or the the archangels come in. Um I work with uh met the masters, the masters. I met a lot of them through sessions. Mm -hmm. When I do card readings, usually the whole thing is not just it start I started off with card readings just a giving advice, guidance. Then it started like, well, can I put my hands on you? I, I feel drawn to put my hands on you. Can I, I'm a healer, you mm -hmm. know, that kind of stuff. Because I, I am Reiki 2 certified. Mm -hmm. I have Reiki 2 certified. But I don't use, Reiki was just a activation. Mm -hmm. But I use a shamanic type of galactic shamanic because I work with galactics too and us. Uh, it just depends on the person. It's mind blowing it's stuff, right? <laughs> it's it's a lot. It's like there's no there's just I'm like it's not just specific. Oh, only work with this one. No, they come in different. Like I had a Syrian, from Syri the, the stars, Syri mm -hmm. the Syri Syrian, mm -hmm. Syri serious, yeah, serious, yes, yeah. serious. This bean came in. It it was a light bean, and did a healing on this person, and this person kept seeing it, and I'm like. And I, you know, I described it and this artist, this artist drew it. I don't know who she is, but I seen it on Google. Um, she kind of captures that. Uh, that's why it's so important for artists to start just yeah. putting it out there. And it has to be a confirmation when they see someone else like, oh, my gosh, you saw the same being, you know? Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. That's excellent. Yeah. They want to talk about different things about the, the human body. And they want to talk about how we could, what we could do mm -hmm. to get out of our own despair. There's a lot of people who have such, have a lot of health issues. <laughs> I'm sorry. Just so many people suffering. Yeah. There's so many people suffering, and and and, and the many of us are healers. There's so many of us that have this heart. For people. There's some that play roles in, in healing the animals, helping animals, and there's those of us that connect with the humans to help help with that. 
We've been poisoned. In so many ways, right? Yes, they're showing how a lot of us are sick because of the emotional traumas that we carry in our bodies that we don't know how to release them. Mm -hmm. And it just builds up in us and it turns into disease. And to help people understand and to help heal themselves, because we all are healing ourselves. We're not doing the healings on others. We are just holding space for us to do our own clearing. That's, that's all the information I'm getting. That's beautiful. And I'll make sure I include um, your links because you've had other information come through that people can follow.